Hello folks, today I want to share with you Uncle Josh in a Chinese Laundry by Cal Stewart. Record number 160-68 side A on the Victor record label. I hope you enjoy this. I think it's kind of nice myself. I, I like all of Uncle Josh's records and cylinders and I don't have them all but someday my collection, I'd like to have them all. Well, I'm sure I said to a fellow the other day. Now, whereabouts in New York do you folks get your washing done? I know when I left home, I'd have enough to do me, but I was staying here a little bit longer than I calculated on, and if I don't get some washing done pretty soon, I'll have to go and jump in the river. <laughs> around the corner where he said another done all the washing and I went around there and there was a sign on the window that said hop quick or hop to or jump up and hop or some other hop and I went in and there was one of them even big tails Chinese. Well, I told him I'd like to get him to do some washing for me and he commenced talking some outlandish lingo sounded like, oh, I do you want to know what to do? Well, I gave him my clothes and he gave me a little ticket and I know that no living mortal man could ever read it. Well, I showed to a fellow on the outside, I said, Mr. In the name of all that is good and bad, what do you call that thing? He said, well, sir, that's a sort of a lottery ticket. Every time you leave your clothes there to give them wash, they give you one of them tickets, and then you have a chance to draw a prize of some kind. I said, well, now, I want to know how much is a doggone thing worth, he said. Well, about ten cents, well, I told him if he wanted it for ten cents, he could have it. I didn't want to get tangled up in none of them lottery gambling business. Well, he gave me ten cents and took the ticket for a couple of days. I went around to get my wash in, and that big tail heathen, he wouldn't let me have him. Uh, I'd lost that lottery ticket. He <laughs> let me have him. Uh, I'd lost that lottery ticket. He let me have him.